our first guest. He's a Grammy winner and a music icon. His songs have been streamed over one billion times. Give it up for the one and only Sia! Happy belated 60th birthday. Yeah, can you believe it? Oh. oh. I remember when I never even used to talk to people at, at over 40. Oh, really? Yeah. And then you had a big old surprise birthday party. I did, I did. My, my partner um, held a, a surprise. Ooh, there oh, it what? is. Oh, there it is, yeah. <laughs> you look real in shock. We love you, Phil. Yeah. Aww. Oh. You look like you got emotional. What yeah. were you thinking in that moment? Well, she did, she did such a good job of keeping it away from me, keeping the whole thing a surprise that I didn't suspect anything at all. I thought we were gonna go and pick up uh, my, my stepdaughter mm -hmm. and we were gonna go and meet the rest of the, I was gonna say kids, but they're no longer kids, but the rest of my, uh, my sons and daughters at a restaurant. So, uh, I mean, how she managed to keep it uh, a secret from me for so long, I, I, I just don't know. Uh, anyway, we went round to a friend's house mm -hmm. and as they opened the door, there were almost 200 of just everyone that has meant something at some point or other in my life, you know, uh, and a real cross section of people. And I just had this thought, I, I was like, oh, I know what's happened. I've died. And I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I literally, for, for about for a split second, <laughs> I literally thought, oh, this is what they talk about. You, you know, you die and then you see all the people that are... <laughs> like your whole life flashed yeah. before your eyes. Yeah, right. and, and, and uh, luckily, uh, you know, I'm still alive. And, uh, and so, uh, <laughs> but, then, but then I just... <laughs> I, I just, I just, I just lost it. You know, I, I, yeah, you saw me kind of... Uh, bursting out into tears there. I, I just couldn't hold back the tears because, you know, we're all so good at deflecting compliments and deflecting love when it's thrown out. Well, you know, oh, you know what, well, no, it's, it's nothing really. You know, we're all so good at that. But then when you see roughly 200 of the people that are really meaningful in your life, people that you've met, that you know very well, you've known for a long time, and some that you've met in passing, but that have had an effect on you. Mm -hmm. When you see them all there, it's like this, this undeniable uh, wall of love that you cut, and then you ask yourself the question, well, why are they all here? There's only one answer why they're here, and it's because they care. Right. You know, and uh, when you first, uh, when you accept that, it's, uh, it's, it's really overwhelming, you know? There's nowhere to hide. You can't deflect the love then. You really have to go, yeah, well, maybe they, maybe, you know, they do love me. So I know for me, when I started out singing, I would sing any and everywhere. Where are some places that you started singing at? Oh, um, you used to work at a hamburger place. Burger King. A Burger King, <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, me too. I, I worked at McDonald's. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. Mm. See, I used to sing when the cars would come through. That was my microphone. I said, this is yeah. my opportunity. Did you sing when you were at Yeah, I, 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 well, I was only there for about two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. <laughs> well, the, because that was how long you needed to work before. That was the shortest amount of time you could work before you got paid. <laughs> so I got paid and I was out. But, um, but yeah, I used, to, I used to sit, I was cleaning the bathrooms and I, I, I you know, there's good acoustics. Ba I was going to say, That's bathroom got good acoustics. acoustics. Yes, great acoustics. So I remember singing there and... And uh, there was this place uh, where I used to live in London, um, about a mile up the road called Westbourne Grove, and it had this huge archway. Mm. And I would go and it had great acoustics, great reverb, and so I would go there about two, three o'clock in the morning when no one was there, I'd just stand and sing. That sounds romantic, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, and amazing. So you have some romantic songs. A lot, a lot of babies had to be born to your music. Ooh. Do people tell you that a lot? They do. They they share a bit <laughs> bit more information than perhaps they should do sometimes. But hey, listen, if anywhere I can be of service is, is my. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I bet you you can make like anything sound like oh, a love song. That. 
You don't know about that? I, I don't know about that. I think we should try to see. Yeah. See, so, cause listen, Phil. So I got a few topics. And then we got Charles over there on the keys. So I, I came up with the idea that, you know, I give you a few topics and you can see if you can make it sound romantic, uh -oh. like a, 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 a love song, calling it From Seal With Love. What y'all think about that? You think you can handle that? Oh, I like the picture and the <laughs> graphics. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay. You ready to try? All right. Since you worked at McDonald's, Cardi B and Offset has a meal. They have a meal at McDonald's. The Cardi B meal. Cardi B and Offset meal. Okay. Yeah, you, you gonna give us a try. I have, to have a seal meal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> the Cardi B Offset meal at McDonald's. <laughs> One cheeseburger with some barbecue sauce. A large coke. Oh my God! A quarter pounder. Yes, you. I see an orange lover too. <laughs> large and fries. Hot flaky pies. <laughs> that was so good! <laughs> oh my God! Can I see your nails? That's nice. Thank you. What, like, you like a mat, you say? Well, I mean, there's only certain colors that, you know, a guy can get away with. But So whenever it gets too bright, I, I tend to go matte, because then that that balances it out. But I love this gray. I think it's called shadow, this color. So I left this glass. Nice. Now, the person who did them, she'd be happy. She, she doesn't like doing that. No? Well, no, really? because she, she says, oh, I do this great job to get them so perfect, and then you go and make them matte. Mm. So I, I... I think matte is good, so I'm with so you too. all I'm, day I'm with you. long. Now, see, I think you fly. Do your kids think they have a cool day? No. <laughs> <laughs> no? No. I mean, I, I guess they do sometimes. They, they, if, the, if they do, they, they're really good at hiding it. You know, so they're, they're, like, they're not easy. They, they, they don't give it up that easy with me. But um, like every now and then, they'll do something like, they'll send me a picture of, uh, you know, my song coming on, in, on the radio in the car. And that's, I guess that's their way of letting me know that they, know what's they, going they on. think I'm... Uh, I understand that. Mm -hmm. And you're getting ready to go on tour. Can you tell yes. everyone what's going on? What you're doing with that? It's... <laughs> it's, a... It's, a, it's a US tour that starts in Phoenix, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's to kind of... To, to, uh, it's a celebration of my music over the last 30 years, but specifically focused on the first two albums. Mm. You know? Mm. And uh, I'm, I'm quite excited, uh, perhaps more so than usual, uh, with this tour because the person that is largely responsible for my sound, I mean, you being you know, a, a great singer, you'll understand that a producer is everything. Yes. And so uh, the, uh, the person that is largely responsible uh, in part for what people perceive as, as my sound, my producer, Trevor Horn, mm. he's actually md in. I got him to... Really? Yeah, so it's kind of recreating that, that studio sound. You know, all those people that are familiar with those first two records. Um, I always feel like albums are like... They're like soundtracks to a certain chapter in your yes. life, you know, That's or they used to be. True. And so... And so what we're trying to do is we're, we're trying to stay true to the integrity of those recordings, mm. which I'm extremely proud of because he's a great producer. So we're, we're trying to stay true to that integrity of the original album and give the person who comes to the show that experience of trying to take them back when they first heard that record. That's so, amazing. So that's... I'm going to adopt yeah. that idea. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to The Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. 
Check your local listings or visit jenniferhudsonshow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.